All right, guys, I'm a six audio video production. Today, I'm gonna show you the Joyo Monomyth pedal. Basically, is a preamp pedal for bass. So let's start saying that I'm not a bassist, but today I'm gonna show you this pedal for bassist anyway, okay? So I play the bass like a guitarist, so with my Peak, basically. So as you can see the looking of the pedal is really fresh and it reminds me well also to you I guess a pedal from Dark Class right? It's not a copy because in my opinion it it has of course the same features but as its own characteristic okay its own sounds does not sound like the Dark Class. Here you can find a different tone okay? So talking about all the connection and features, as you can see on the top, we have the input of your bass, the output of your bass, but you have also a through. So basically you can also send your DI through this pedal to go to another pedal if you want and make maybe stereo rig as you want. Then of course you have also the headphone because you can use this pedal along with your bass in completed silent mode without recording and basically practicing. So it's really great to have only this pedal with you and basically you can play bass and you can listen to what you are playing in really great quality, let me say. Then on the side you have also the connection for your balanced output, like I'm using right now basically, and you can send balanced output to go directly on a PA system because here you have also the cabric simulation. So here you can engage or not your cab and that's it. And you can go directly to a PA system for your life. That's great. You have also the ground loop here, of course. Talking about all the features, as you can see here, you have two foot switches. One is for the overall on or bypass for the pedal. And the second one is to engage the drive. So basically you can use this pedal in two way. Without the drive, you can use the equalizer here. You have basically uh, six different uh, bands and the master overall. And here is for the um, on pedal only without the drive. If you engage also the drive, you will unlock all the rest of the uh, knobs, as you can see. You have, of course, the level for the overall level of the output, the blend, so you can blend your DI with the drive as you want, the drive amount, so it's the gain, and the voice that will change, we will listen the sound. So it will be more scooped to more mid-rangey with more focus on the strings, basically. And then of course you have these two tiny switches to boost more your gain. If it's not enough, you can get more gain with the gain boost. And of course you have also the high boost if you want to gain up only the high frequencies. So let's start listening something, right? Today I'm gonna use the uh, two notes audio engineering for the cab simulation and then of course I'll show you also the cab rig here uh, which is included but I want to show you with this cab because we have more tweaking stuff to let you listen how this pedal sounds. So let's start with all bypass. So basically I only my DI with of course the impulse response. <laughs> So pristine clean DI. Let's engage now the pedal. And now I'm listening the equalization that you have here. So if you want to boost more the mid frequencies like this to have more smooth strings, So it's up to you. I really like to scoop just a bit the mid frequencies. Okay, I have too much high frequencies here. Okay, 1.5 is really important to me. Okay, this is okay for me. Now I can engage the drive part. So let's engage the drive here 
let's start with no any drive basically just a bit amount of drive as you can listen I have the blend here so I can go from zero drive so only my DI well DI with my of course uh, equalization let's engage now more drive even if my drive is at zero basically you can listen that it's starting to mellow just a bit more the sound so it's more uh, mid focus smoother just a bit and it's adding just a bit more saturation full drive let's add now the drive with the knob remember that this knob is logarithmic of drive but if it's not enough for you you can also engage the gain boost and basically some noise on the background is basically my my base because without the gate uh, I can disengage here the gate this is the noise of my base I don't I don't know why but I have to uh, check something because if I touch this basically here there is an aluminum part and it's creating this noise it's basically a static noise so i'm using the gate to clean everything if, if i put my finger here Of course you have also the high boost to listen more the noise if you have not enough noise of your strings Of course you can also blend your DI to get more clean sound on the bass and maybe distort more in the high frequencies
Now let's listen how the voice behaves. So let's use a normal setting. Okay, with the voice all the way close, I can have a sound more scooped. More mids here. Here is very open. Okay, it sounds really great in my opinion. So let me bypass now the torpedo and let's listen only the cab rig of this pedal. So this is without the cab rig. So basically is your DI distorted. This is the cab rig. My opinion has too much bass. Basically it's creating here in my studio a super high boom effect. And then we have the clean sound. All right, guys, so this is the pedal. In my opinion, sounds really great. It's really easy to use and easy to get really cool bass tone with both clean and drive sound and you can also blend together the sound. So it's really great. I have to mention that also here you have this lovely red stripes up and down of the pedal so it's really cool in my opinion this look and also how it behaves how it sounds if you want you have the link in the description if you want to purchase the joy of monomyth of course let me know what you think about and of course as always i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>